Every time I play the Isle of Reva, I go in knowing that anything can happen. This is a game of survival, and most definitely not for the faint-hearted, but that hardcore permanent death, there's something just beautiful about it. It draws me in like a fly just attracted to the light. Even having that experience, that knowledge of understanding, regardless of how good of a survivalist you are, eventually you will perish. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another story, where we start as a fresh orphan spawned into the world. She's looking beautiful. I'm starting a one and only place, the center. Mm -hmm. Lifting my head backwards, sniffing the fresh air, I picked up the scent of a dead Kano that was nearby. The perfect start to my diet. To go. A little bit to go. With a full stomach, I made my way down to the river to hydrate. I was growing under the cover of some thick scrubs, and that's when another juvenile Utah raptor snuck up on me. Disappointed in the actions of this young cannibal, the old competitive gamer came out of me. But of course I got over it and would continue on with the journey. If you end up enjoying the story, please don't forget to give my video a like. I'd truly appreciate it. Thank you very much. While my Utah Raptor sat there recovering its stamina pool next to a log. In another time and place, a Tyrannodon has just left the ground. Alright, so it's been a while since I played a Reema, guys. That's because like my last PC was just, just couldn't handle it no more when recording and that. So I was like stuck on like 40 to 60 frames and it was like after watching Gaming Beaver, I was like nah, nah, this just ain't acceptable. So I've, I've got some upgrades, I've got pretty much a whole new setup, new microphone and stuff so hopefully it all sounds good. But we're back and the quality, the content quality should be much, much better. Look at that, look at those frames, that's much better. And not long after, I'd have to start fishing. And it's starting to bleed a bit, but she'll be right. She'll be right. Come here, fishy, 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 fishy. I caught my first fish. I took it high into the sky, landing safe on a massive pillar. Right, eat up. One bite. I need a bigger fish than that. So I made my way back down to the river, seeking out the essentials of life, continuing to fish. There's a carno right there, a little baby one. But with an opportunity to get in some practice, I couldn't help myself but to become a nuisance. I nipped him. Well, we can have some fun with him. I don't know if I can really, you know. Probably could, with given enough time. If he gets in any trouble, he just... As my Tyranodon proceeds to hassle this young Kano, my Utah Raptor is ambushing a small but dangerous Stegosaurus. I backed up for a moment, sat down and regained some stamina, and with my victim running off into the distance bleeding, I proceeded to track him down. Yeah, let's just get some bites on him. Extra care. That tail could hurt. There we go, there we go. Nice. Oh, that's a lot of blade. It's by my time. He's small but dangerous. Here we go. Ah, rest in peace, my lord. After the successful hunt of the Stegosaurus, I will continue forward, hunting down a boar and then a juvenile Kano. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Holy crap, that was way too close. <laughs> I lived. A brush with death would wake me up. With hindsight, I would now remember there's always a bigger fish. And just because I have the ability to jump and almost clear the river, does not excuse me from the rules of survival. There you go, got another one on it. Meanwhile, elsewhere, a Tyranodon is being nothing more than the local pest. Still growing. 
I'm gonna need stamina soon, that's my problem. I pecked away at him for a while, but it really was pointless, so I went back to the comfort of my river, to the art of fishing. That's that same old boy. I landed feeling safe, and with two chambers in my stomach, I swallowed this fish whole. Because the Kano came at me, I figured I may as well try to land a couple of hits. But a pack of Utah Raptors must have picked up the sound of a fight taking place in the distance. That Kano was so in trouble. Because before you'd know it, they'd moved in. May as well watch it. I mean, from the skies where it's safe. Yeah, he's, he's gonna... But the Kano was smart and instantly went for cover. Anyway, the Utahs might not see him. Might even distract the Utahs. There we go, I'll give the Kano a fighting chance. Meanwhile, in another time and place, my Utah Raptor is enjoying a free feed that he stumbled across. And now fully grown, it would be time to find myself a pack, for Utahs are much more efficient working together. And in the distance, Utah Raptors were broadcasting, looking to expand their group. Some Utahs are just here somewhere. Hello. Oh, what? Wow. Unfortunately, I was lured in by the lowest of low scum, but it's perfectly fine by me because karma works in mysterious ways. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. It's just like, yeah, it's a survival game. But, you know, like, they put in every mechanic to avoid this. Yeah, that was actual disgusting. I, I, even I get angry at that sort of crap. But you know what? You can imagine what those players are like in real life. Oh yeah, they're getting nowhere. The Kano was in trouble. He was being boxed in by the Utah Raptors. Keep him away from him. Yeah, that's it, get away from him. Keep moving, Utah. The albino Utah Raptor. He came within meters of the Kano, but with my broadcasting, it was a perfect distraction. There we go. See, Kano's off now. I got him, I saved him. Look at him go. I saved that Kano and he doesn't even know it. <laughs> Only because we were in a fight. I closed in on the Kano fast and under the radar. To be honest, I just wanted to check and see if he noticed. My luck, a crocodile is going to come up and crunch. Game over. How do I do this again? It's been a long time since the last time I clinged to a tree as a Tranodon. Well, that wasn't it. I regained my stamina and it was time for attempt number two. After plunging to the ground, I'd find my feet, take off, and try again. And finally, after more attempts than I care to admit, I had what one would call success. Time to eat some fish. We're almost fully grown, we're getting there. We're sub adult or whatever. My skin is slowly starting to change. Gonna need to top up on some water in a minute, so I might as well pull up and just eat the fish down here. Cool. Do a little bit more growing, I guess. And with a decent diet, some experience in clinging to the trees, it was time to rest. After being AFK for a significant amount of time, I would find myself flying around the center of the map, looking for any juveniles I could pick off. I can land next to him in time. Probably not. Whoa! I just got off the ground and died. You do a great deal of damage to me, mind you. I collided with the young juvenile, and with only seconds spare, I managed to get off the ground and escape the danger. Too close, <laughs> and then the big cannibal comes along. <laughs> Man, I'm rusty. Rusty fighting with <laughs> this cannibal. I mean, Kano's are cannibals in this game. They're 100% cannibals. It's part of their diet, so it's understandable. But man, that's brutal. <laughs> No, he's too calling this one. I decided to leave before I got myself killed. Observing from a safe distance, I bear witness to a family of Utah Raptors attempting to fight a Stegosaurus. Seven. This one's getting, oh no, that's a baby Kano getting killed by Utah. Oh, and a big Kano coming the in. The body count was starting to stack. There was food for days. We're gonna have a pack of Kanos. About to cross over with a pack of Utahs. And a Stego in the middle. 
Ooh, it's on. Oh, it's just bloodthirsty. However, to my surprise, the Kanu's left the Stegosaurus alone. If I can, I'm gonna snatch one of these ones, like this little Utah right here, for instance. Nope, that ain't happening. Stego's coming in. Too much going on here. Maybe I can quickly sneak in a meal. That stego was never going to let me eat. <laughs> oh, is that a little Pachycephalosaurus or a little Utah? I landed on the ground, possibly underestimating my opponent. He landed multiple bites and then pounced on me. I tried to take off from the ground but failed, and now would have to rely on bucking him off. He's going to run out of stamina. <laughs> he got two, uh, two pounces on me. Well done, but like, I could tank so many of them, it's not funny. You're too little to fight me. And I don't think I could fly with him on me. I tried for a second there. Maybe I just didn't try for long enough. But I wanted to fly off and have him fall to his death. I'll have to try that next one. Mind you, he managed to get a decent amount of bleed on me. I topped up my stomach, so I had a little bit more in me. But still leaving enough room for the rest of my diet. Get the bleed off. Because I think I might... Journey away from the center and look for something else. Because I think I'm going to go do some exploring now that I've had a decent sized meal. My belly is half. Ooh, is chicken on my diet? Yes, chicken is on my diet. Look at that. I'll take that. Come here, you. Now my diet's good to travel. I can go exploring now. A little bit more. And actually, hopefully, I can fill out the whole hexagon. That would be perfect. Let's get out of here. Let's go do some exploring. Later that night, I would use the cover of darkness to drink some water and then continue with the art of fishing. Oh, look at that fish. That thing was flying. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, decent size one too. Nice. What a ripper. Let's go out here and eat it. Soon the sun would rise. Another beautiful day. I need some more fishies. I skimmed the top of the water, collecting my breakfast. Man, but let's test and up until this point, I'd never tested if I could eat while clinging to a tree. Oh, you can land with a fish in your mouth, but can you eat? Oh, that's so cool. I didn't know you could do that. I like that. <laughs> no, but that is cool that you can eat the fish in the tree. I, I do like that. I really do. The life of a Trinodon is a simple but humble one. So let's try this landing in the tree again. Let's go up from a bit higher though this time. Actually get the good practice in. They say it takes 10,000 hours before you can master your craft. And... Cling. But if you want to truly improve, you should never stop practicing. Because eventually the hard work will pay yes, off. Yes, this is exactly what we practice. And if you love what you do, you will never work a day in your life. Because I can't see nothing. Instead of flying around blind in the dark. Nothing can get me up here either, so. I decided to land where it was safe, at the peak of a cliff. Rest, rest, rest. But remember to take care of yourself if you're feeling exhausted. A bit dark. There we go, plenty of fishing. And we shall continue on. I'm not sure what that human infrastructure is over there, so I'm gonna go check that out in a second. I landed to regain some stamina and then let curiosity take over. It's like fully done too, almost. Uh, the size is, yeah, they're pretty good, pretty spot on sort of thing. Humans will be interesting, but they're definitely gonna change the game. But they will make the community bigger. I'll bring in a whole range of things, so they're good, but I would have preferred a Rex. <laughs> That's just me personally. But hey, uh, humans will still be cool. I know I'm trapped inside the borders of the map, but I still had to try. And after I failed to escape this prison, I turned around. I would find myself gliding down the natural beauty of this coastline. Cave and have a look. That's a pretty realistic looking cave though. But damn, that's done pretty well. Is this water drinkable? I doubt it. It, would have it was salty water, most likely left there from the previous high tide. I rest up here real quickly, regain my stamina pool. One thing I will say about the Isle of Reebus coastline is it is by far the best of all the games. 
It outdoes all of them. Path of Titans, Beast of Bermuda, Day of Dragons, Anamonia, all of them. Anamonia doesn't even have a coastline. But, Beast of Bermuda and Path of Titans, this coastline is pretty crazy. <laughs> I made my way inland seeking out fresh water. All right. I can hear those pteranodons going off down here. On the open plains in the center of the map, I scavenged for food. I'm gonna get myself some fish. Later that night, I'd return to the fishing. There we go. That's how it's done. But now, I was getting really fluent with the movements. Perfect. Perfect. I went AFK, clinging to the side of a tree for quite some time. And when I returned, I started to hassle a pack of Utah raptors. I'm hitting this Utah. He's like AFK. He's so AFK. <laughs> I'm on his tail. Oh let, ooh, yeah, he's actually backed off and down a bit. But attacking a pack of Utah raptors, of course, is futile. However, just down the stream a little bit, a couple of juvenile herbivores were meeting up. Hello there. There you go, another one. Come back here. Got him, got him, got him. Had to wipe the trash off out of my eyes. <laughs> Alright, cool. This hips is part of my diet, so. Perfect. Perfect. I think I only need like two bites to kill one. Might only be one. I think it's two. Anyway, I got him blind. I flew off to duck into some better cover to regain my stamina pool. And when I returned, a small pteranodon had discovered the body. Eat up, buddy. Eat up. I'll leave some for that little guy to fill right up. The next day I was exploring, but I was getting desperate for water and starting to dehydrate. Constantly. This will do. I doubt there's anything around here. I pulled up in a relatively safe spot and had a drink by the running water. God damn, this coast looks photographic almost though. Holy crap. I returned to the coastline to complete my dietary requirements, looking for sea turtles. But unfortunately, on this beach I never stumbled across them. I just swam that whole coast and I didn't find no goddamn sea turtles. I gotta go to the other coast, I reckon. I tried to take a shortcut over this mountain, but I couldn't clear it in one go. I'll start bleeding in a minute, but it should be right. That's a mighty. I wonder where all the water's coming from. That must be. Like, can I fly into it? No, it's all just coming out of a crack. Now the side of this cliff. Is there a dam or something up here? So it must be flowing out of there. Oh, look at that. A radio tower stood at the peak of the mountain. Pretty much most of my Arima experience. <laughs> my like thousand hours worth is just like all at the center. Fighting people. I never really go to these odd spots. But that's interesting. And I'm bleeding like kind of badly. Yeah, I'm getting real hungry. I ain't got time to explore, but I'm still going to pass over this real quickly. So is, it, is there a way for anything else to get up here? Or is it like... Tr Look at it. That's awesome. Shame I don't have time to hang around. I'm a bit too hungry. So there must be a whole track up here. Let's fly down it. Oh yeah, okay. It'd be a long track for sure. I haven't got time to fly down it exactly. I gotta go to a river, get some goddamn fish. Back at the center of the map, at the bottom of the mountain, I started to skim for fish. Wonder whatever that little fish is. There's a bunch of different ones. Some of them feed you a bit more than others. Still in recovery from starvation, I filled up on water and then moved on. A juvenile Pachycephalosaurus stood near no chance when I landed next to him. Come here, you. Sorry, buddy, but you're on the menu. You know how it is. 
Toms are tough. Toms are tough. Imagine being a tiny little juvie like that and you just see this like dragon coming at you. After eating some of the body, I eventually made my way to the coastline. The right coastline. The one with the sea turtles. And when I finally had my fair fill and the dust had finally settled, I could prepare myself and log out for the day. I hope you my friends enjoyed the video. This is your boy our time at the end of another epic tale, signing out.